What's up my comic book brothers and my comic book sisters from another mister. Today we're going to do a comic book review of Spawn, issue number 315, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. Previously in Spawn 314, Overkill has been decimated, left for dead, and Spawn has been captured by Omega, who then reveals that he's not the only familiar face on the island prison. Arrogant Omega Spawn had let his guard down, and because he let his guard down, Medieval Spawn was able to go in and impale one of his eyes with this sword. The 25-foot monster had coerced everyone to serve him with fear, never once contemplating for any outcome other than the ones he had planned. Other than Spawn, who he had imprisoned, who else would stand against him? No one. Or so he thought. Like an explosion has gone off, the ground shakes as both combatants hit the ground simultaneously. Whatever you are, you're dead, says Omega Spawn. And then with the mere thought, the sword flies back to the hand of its rightful master, Medieval Spawn. Then do it. Slay me where I stand. I've grown weary of your idle threats, says Medieval. Spawn, to your feet. Spawn goes to his feet, takes off the cloth over his head, and he's like, dude, I thought I killed you. You did, but we'll talk about that later. And that's referencing Spawn issue 305, which we did do a review on. For now, the enemy before us needs our attention. I only wounded him. And Omega Spawn lets out a blast, and on cue, he fires huge slabs of debris modified with deadly spikes. Medieval Spawn tells Spawn to grab onto his sword before he's too late. And Spawn's like, what? Just grab it, says Medieval Spawn. Half-blind Omega rallies his powers, one which creates a vacuum pulling our heroes towards in potential impalements. Before he can get swept away, Spawn latches onto the sword. Medieval Spawn isn't afforded the same option. Dig into something, says Spawn. I can't, says Medieval Spawn. Spawn lashes out, catching the armored warrior before it's too late. Omega increases the force of his suction as Spawn feels his grip slowly given away. Come, let me feast on the two of you, says Omega. He opens his mouth wide like a great white shark. Release me, says Medieval. No, says Spawn. You have to. It's our only chance. So Spawn does that. He releases Medieval Spawn. In battle and war, if you're losing to an enemy that's half blind, there's only one move left. Completely blind him. And Medieval Spawn does that with his cape. The monster wars like some wild beast. Medieval Spawn has created his distraction, but now they need to take advantage of it. Spawn, let go, says Medieval Spawn. He does. Instinctively, Spawn knows what he has to do next. His limbs begin to morph as he rockets towards his target and impales him in his chest. Our hero dives away, giving away his giant claws, impaling inside of his wounded chest. Wounded. The problem is, they now have a wounded animal for an enemy that's lashing out in sheer anger. He rips the cape, starts going away, and tells him, You failed like Kaleshiostro. You don't have the strength. None of you ever did. He slams Medieval Spawn to the ground. We need to retreat, says Medieval. No, says Spawn. This has just begun. Spawn had planned his own escape before knowing Medieval Spawn would arrive. Though it cost him the life of Overkill, Spawn began to bond with Monolith the moment they went under the ocean. And see previously in Spawn 314 how that went down, because we did review that as well. By the time they landed on Omega's Island, the two of them already had hatched their mission. One last whisper, one final instruction is all they needed to set their plan in motion. And Monolith has played his part to perfection. Like so many others pulled into a time rift, Monolith was trying to understand what was happening, but Omega was hunting him thinking he could easily make the disoriented monolith into his own servant. But like any slave, you do what you need to survive. You bide your time until a clear path presents itself, and then you claim what is rightfully yours. He's growing, says Spawn. We need him crippled. You've got 15 seconds to figure out how to do that, says Spawn, and Medieval Spawn has a plan. He fought a hundred wars, fought a thousand enemies. And with the pressure of time against him, he confidently understands that although he had 15 seconds, he only needed nine of them. And he slices off his hand. And by slicing off his hand, a torrent of necroplasm harvested from the souls of his millions of victims shoots wild streams of from his amputated arm. Monolith is like, we need to live. And he is scorching in pain. And Spawn's like, we can't leave, not without medieval Spawn. Then one fire flash strikes Monolith full force, instantly beginning to burn him like a shower of acid. This brother bleeds acid like alien. 
With the force of a car collision, Spawn smashes into the orange barbarian, toppling him out of the flesh eating rays. Unfortunately, it's too late as Monolith lays down dead. But Spawn catches his breath, then turns his full fury towards the Omega Spawn. Without breaking stride, he scoops up a piece of pot which earlier had painfully been holding him captive. Weaving and cutting through the Maelstrom, Spawn gets a fix on his other companion. I need to stop his bleeding or we'll never get out of here, says Spawn. Grab his chains and fucking bring him down, he says to Medieval Spawn. Again, Medieval Spawn doesn't hesitate as he again summons everything from his body, then yanks as hard as he can to bring down the Omega Spawn. The behemoth fell again. Spawn races to the tallest pile of rock and debris he can find, then catapults himself even higher. All the while merging his own limited necro power with those of the sonic pod. He unleashes that combo of energy towards the bleeding stump of an arm. Omega Spawn seals it, burning flesh, tendons, and muscles to seal it shut. What's our next move, says Medieval Spawn. He's not gonna stay down. I know, and Monolith didn't make it, so we're on our own. The question is, how do they stop an unstoppable force? This brother is not going down without ease. Omega Spawn, he's been cut, sliced, and fell multiple times onto sharp, broken shards of rock and boulders. He now has one arm, one eye, a gaping chest wound, and he is still will not relent. I thought you could be youthful, says Omega. You could help me break Kalishiosha, but now you're just like him. You all are. This planet has always shown its weakness. With that, he raises his one good arm, triggering a trap. As Omega had boasted, this island had been set up to blanket its entire mass. Screeching sound waves batter our heroes with an intensity that feels like their bodies are about to explode. Wave upon wave, they're bombarded with the sound that deafens all else. And because of that, none of them hear the haunting wails reverberating from the dark, bottomless pit holding Kalistiostro. Nor do they see the thick black ooze slithering from the pit like a thousand snakes freed from their cage. It breathes with the coursing, scratching timber. It looks partially human, but it is about to show the world its only nature is that of revenge, and that is Plague Spawn emerging from the ground. And that's where we end this issue of Spawn issue number 315. Okay, this is obviously one big ass fight between Spawn, Medieval Spawn, and Omega Spawn, and we still got some more action left with. I love the cliffhanger. I love how this is the first appearance. I believe this is the first appearance of Plague Spawn. If it's a key issue, definitely add it to your comic book collection. Link in description if you wish to add this comic book to your comic book collection. Support the art, support the industry, and also here at RatedComics.com. Hey, we got amazing comics, exclusives, ratios, take your pick if you want to add some amazing comics to your collection but with all that being said spawn issue number 315 what you guys think of the comic book comment below let me know and also if you like the content we're throwing up you know what to do don't be shy don't be stingy here at rated comics we do awesome comic book reviews comic book related content with the occasional comic book giveaway not to mention we do a whole lot of spawn content on this channel as well so if you're a spawn fan hey subscribe to this channel and don't forget to check us out on our whatnot auctions where we do online auctions link in description and last but not least this review is sponsored by coffee so if you like to buy your boy a cup of coffee link in description or donate to the super things but the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this channel by subscribing to rated comics youtube channel thank you again for watching until next time